What are you going to get him? I can't buy him anything. I don't have enough money. But he's your brother. Step brother. Besides, he didn't get me anything for my birthday. All the more reason for you to set the pace. Harper, quick! Need help in the corridors upstairs. Come on. Okay. Think about it. Yes. Is there anything you can do, Seamus? Archer, I can patch it up again in this coffee, but that does not for the fact that the school needs new plumbing and a new roof and a new bank account to pay for it all. I don't like leaving you in the midst of all this nonsense. I'll be absolutely fine. Hey, young why, Miss Murphy? She's got a meeting with a very rich businessman, an ex-pupil. With any luck, I might be able to get some money out of for this new plumbing. Wow! It must be that boy the old storerooms. What happened? The sky just fell in. Water damage, eh? Huh? Massive water damage. Oh, this must have been up there for ages. Wow! Some of this stuff could be really interesting. Looks like a lot of old junk to me. Just toss it out, Seamus. No! No, you can't, Miss Murphy. You have to check it all for, for historical value. Well, if you're volunteering, Cormac, then be my guest. Just get it out of the building. Sure, sure. Right then, one at each end. Grab a handle and lift. Well? Oh, me. All right. Come on, then. I've got some class for us to call. We're not really interested in a 50-year-old Mets book, are we? I suppose not, no. What's that you got there? A tin soldier. Except they weren't tin in those days. They were actually made of lead. Lead? That's just poisonous. <laughs> Fancy giving kids lead toys to play with. Oh. Now this is interesting. How old's that? It could be valuable. I'll check it out. Oh, what about the rest of this stuff? No, no, no. Like Seamus said, junk mainly. I've got to go. Oh, uh, no worries. I'll, I'll clean up then. You might come in handy after all. Birthday, mate. <laughs> yeah, tired dad. Okay, present time. Brett. Oh, wow. Thanks, Brett. A broken toy soldier. Just what I always wanted. Oh, well, I figured you could start a new collection. Thanks, Dad. Thanks, Jackie. Haven't got one of those, have you? No, no, I haven't. Haven't got any ships, just cars and planes. No ships. Have some of this before you go out with your mates. Hey, you, you haven't opened my present yet. Oh, he's just saving the best till last, sweetheart. Yeah, <laughs> right. Caring for others. <laughs> Thanks, Mayor. I think. Can I borrow it when you're finished? Knock yourself out. Miss Langan, I have to buy a birthday card, so could I have permission to go into town after school? I take it there's a reason for all this exuberance. I got into this website to check out how much this would be worth. Not enough to warrant quite so much noise, surely. About 80 euros. What? For this rusty old thing. <laughs> Congratulations, Cormac. You were right about there being treasure in that old chest. No, no, that's nothing. Look. 
It's from the long-lost Rathbone collection of 1934, and it's worth 70,000 euro. Well, it's a pity you don't have that one, then. Well, I have. That is, the school might have. It was in that old treasure chest. I have to go check this out. Seventy thousand euro. That'd be enough to fix the school roof. It was here, in this pencil box. Well, it definitely isn't there now. Are you sure you didn't imagine it, Cormac? Of course not. Ask Brett. I showed it to him. Well, did he put it back? Yeah. Well, well, I'm sure he did. Uh, see, the school bell rang, and then I had to go, and then he said that he would clean everything up. 70,000 euro? I, I just remembered. Um, there's, there's something I have to do. Catch you later. Wait. Wake up. Yeah, Mum, I'll, I'll be there in a minute. Wait. Listen, that toy soldier Cormac found in the chest. Do you know where it is? It's the middle of the night. If Mum found it down here. This is important. Hey, that soldier's worth a lot of money. This is a joke. It's not funny. 70,000 euro isn't a joke. 70,000? Yes. Cormac said it was junk. you very valuable junk. Now, where is it? I gave it to Wayne. You didn't. It's all right. You probably chucked it straight in the rubbish bin anyway. Oh, stay here. I'll get it. Langan's already planning to spend that money on the school roof. Just try and stall her. All right, I'll get back off him tomorrow. Are you sure? No problem. Wayne doesn't want it anyway. Okay. Get it to me as soon as you can. Sure. Good night. Good day. Get out of my face, loser! So, uh, where, where are you off to then? What do you want to know? I'm just being social. Curl up in the sun and dry out.
you back again. Yeah, got a problem with that? Glutton for punishment, aren't you? There you go, Buff. Yeah, good mate. You? Might as well get started, eh? Fair enough. Approach ye denizens of Golgothra and state your purpose. What are you doing here? Monster Meister, the army of Vingrath comes to claim the crown of Ceridian. Yeah, Monster Meister, we found this kid hanging around outside. What are you doing here? I was going to ask you the same thing. You know him? Yeah, he must have followed me here. What is this, some kind of secret society or something? Just be quiet. You shouldn't have come here. I do like your outfit. Just shut up, OK? Check him out, boy. Monster Meister, are you? Look, I need that soldier back. What? The, the toy soldier I gave you for your birthday. It belongs to someone I know, and I didn't realise how important it was, Tom. Vingrath, the warrior of which he speaks, is it in your army? It is, Monster Meister. Vingrath. Then once on the battlefield, the warrior can only be removed by combat. <laughs> You're not going to let him play. Play what? Just keep out of it, all right? It's got nothing to do with you. Let the bones decide. I'm really going to get you for this. What? Cast the bones. Huh? Roll the dice. Oh. Eleven. Okay, loser. Let's see about that. Weird looking dice. Twelve. Well, I guess I win, huh? Come on. You need ceremonials and an avatar. Hey. Miss Lagan. What is it, Hannah? I'm rather busy. It, it's about the tin soldier. Have you found it? No, not exactly. Uh, but I, I just remembered that the last time I was talking to Brett, he, he, he mentioned that it might have been thrown away. What? The, the rubbish? Well, yes. Well? There's only one thing for it. We shall search in every rubbish bin. We shall search in the rubbish skips. Uh, what if we don't find it? Then we'll search them again. Ew. I do hope that's an attempt at humor. <laughs> no, I don't think so. We shall turn the school upside down and shake it. This is it, guys. If you find it, handle with care. It's really valuable. Right, me, platoon. Follow me. All of this for Toy Soldier. <laughs> Why do I only have one guy? I mean, that's hardly an army, is it? What is your calling, Outlander? Huh? Your name? Brett. You can't be Brett. That is your name. Oh, right. Um... McCracken the Great. So be it, McCracken. Cast the bone, Clavendel. Seven. Right. Clavendale's ninjas lead a sneak attack on Beanbreath's flank, causing the cavalry horses to stampede into McCracken. Bowrock advances into the valley. Lost four life points, but got seven strength points. I lose six vitality points, but gain eight on tactics. Ten vitality demerits. What is going on? We're keeping score. Wait, did I win your soldier back yet? Not even close. Langan has totally lost it. <laughs> Not necessarily. She's flipped. What on earth would make her think that stupid soldier was in the rubbish? 
Any luck yet, girls? No, not yet, Miss Langan. <laughs> oh, I do hope you're right, Hannah, and that it's somewhere in that rubbish. <gasps> well, keep hunting and shout if you find it. You're to blame for this? What? It's, it's not my fault. You are a social outcast, Hannah O'Flaherty. Okay. Oh my god, does a sneak attack. It captures this guy off one. I mean, Vingreth. Play by the rules, idiot. Well, what are the rules? That's for you to find out. You wanted to play. Cast the bone, McCracken. Nine. McCracken falls into the lair of the giant centipede. Most <sighs> eleven warriors. Hey, what are you doing with that soldier? Well, it's Clavendale's. He won it, fair and square. But how do I win it back? You can't. Unless he puts it back into play. Come on, it's your turn to roll. Twelve. Oh, yes! What? <laughs> you are dead meat. <laughs> McCracken falls victim to the poison of the giant centipede. <laughs> You're out of the game, loser. The monster meister calls a loo break. Pretty scungy looking warrior you got here, Vingrath. You're telling me. Wayne, I've got to get that soldier back. Just go, will you? Please, mate, I need your help here. Don't you know when you're not wanted? All right. It's going to be fun telling everyone what I've been doing today. You don't mention this to anyone, all right? Oh, I'm sure the guys at school would love hearing about how Wayne dresses up and plays games with his toy soldiers. You wouldn't. Not unless you win that soldier back for me. That's blackmail! No, it's helping each other out, mate. Hey, bro. Keep looking, Seamus. We've checked every bin on the ground floor, Miss Langan. It's not there. Right. Start on the skips behind the canteen. You are history, Hannah. Look, there's no point to Miss Langan. There are 70,000 points, Hannah. <laughs> but it's rubbish collection day. The trucks have just been. What? I forbid you to leave the grounds with this rubbish. What is she doing? Oh no. She's out of control. We should report her to the education authorities. Bo-Rock's forces are crushed by a boulder, thrown by the troll. Oh no! It's the final conflict, Clevendale. When you're ready, Vingrath. What's going on? Well, they have to decide whether or not to bring up reinforcements. Go on, Wayne. Shut up, will ya? I'm thinking. He could lose everything. All his warriors, his equipment, the lot. Get it. What's so special about a stupid game when nobody even knows the rules? <laughs> Dude, that's the point. Huh? But we know the rules. It's our game. No one else's. Hey, we got a deal, remember? Yeah, here we go, deal. Oh, 
I can't believe what we're being asked to do here. Me neither. There are some fantastic things here. I've had enough. I'm going for a shower before I catch every disease known to man. Come on, get stuck into it. What's the matter with you? There's got a bit wrong with a little bit of dirt. Mrs. Langan. Ah, oh, Miss Murphy. What on earth is happening here? There's a perfectly good explanation for all this. I can't wait to hear it. Well, it's about time. Where have you been? Fighting off the forces of Golgothra. What? Ah, skip it. Oh, don't even mention skips to me. Come on, they're all up in Miss Murphy's office. And what is that smell? Seventy thousand euro. If it were a genuine Rathbone, it would be worth every cent. And you found all this out on the internet? Mm hmm It looks the same, but I, uh, I have to check. Come in. Miss Murphy, we found it. <gasps> Marvellous! Where did you find it? Oh, just amongst some other junk. Well? It's not a rat bone. Similar, but uh, not the same. Is it worth anything? <laughs> well, not a whole lot on its own, I'm afraid. Sorry. Oh, dear. However, I very much appreciate your efforts. It shows how committed you are to our school. Yeah, but... Now, as you know, I went to Dublin to meet a very rich ex-pupil of ours, and I convinced him to make a donation. For how much? Well, not enough for a complete new roof, but enough for extensive repairs. So, everything today was totally useless. Oh, Miss Murphy, I'm so sorry. I don't know what you did to get it back, but it's been worth it. Just promise me one thing, Anna. If you ever see me getting interested in toy soldiers again, Time out and don't let me out of the room. Uh, I promise. Thanks. <laughs>